All right. So have your have your GoDaddy tab and your ClickFunnels tab open because we'll go back and forth in there. Go to uh, on your click on your uh, so you're logged into Cloudflare. Go to your overview page. Okay, now that shows the one we just did. So um, click, have you already added the other site? Nope. Okay, so click add site. This is where you type in your domain that you bought from GoDaddy or Namecheap or wherever. Or that we provided you. Okay, and then you hit begin scan. It'll take a minute. And if you're doing more than one site at a time, once that blue bar goes a certain distance, Cloudflare will allow you to start a, a scan on an, an additional website. Like right now, you would be able to type in another domain. All right, hit continue setup. If Cloudflare system is scanning your setup, this will take about 60 seconds. During this time, we want to tell you a bit about how Cloudflare works. You it should be able to hit continue. Okay, on this step, what you're going to do is identify any A, type A's or type C name records that have your domain name or the www in it. Right now there are two. That one, you delete that one by hitting the X. And then you go up to the A record that says limo service Knoxville TN and delete that one. Any any of them that are pre-existing with the URL or www. In the name now, column. Yeah, in the name not necessarily in, if the value column has them, don't worry about it. It's, it's type A or C name, and then if it's name, www, or the domain name, delete. Yep, yep. Leave the MX records alone. So now go up to the, uh, top, yeah, the drop-down bar, click C name, type in the at symbol, shift number two, then go over to the next form field. Domain name is target.clickfunnels.com. Uh, and then hit add record. You maintain the automatic TTL. And then you're going to add one more C name record, which is www. And then uh, no dot. And then target.clickfunnels.com again and then hit record, add record. Now go down to those two, top two records you just created and click on the cloud, the gray clouds, just those two records, click on those and then scroll down and hit continue. Now select free website, scroll down, hit continue. Now here's where you have to go into your GoDaddy account and change the okay. name server. So, so go to domain, manage open your domains. GoDaddy server or GoDaddy tab. Find, find your URL. It's smart to go ahead and have it logged in if you have if you haven't already. And you're gonna you're gonna want to go to manage DNS in the in the settings. And click on settings tab. And then name servers manage. And you, this is where you're going to update uh, to custom. And then hit, hit enter custom name servers. And you're going to add the Cloudflare name servers.
Hit OK. Save. All right. Now go back to Cloudflare. Hit continue. And now you're going to go to page rules. Go to add new rule. URL pattern needs to be uh, www dot the domain limo service knoxville tn dot com in this case slash asterisk which is shift eight and then hit forwarding on and then in the forwarding destination uh, it needs to be https colon slash slash and then go straight into the URL with without www slash dollar sign one you, uh, change it to permanent 301 you add rule and you're done with this step scroll up hit crypto in the top menu bar make sure the SSL is set to full which it is and now you're done inside of um, Cloudflare go to click funnels and um, go to uh, account settings my account go to uh, account details and scroll down to custom domains you're gonna add new domain so add your domain without the www and then you're gonna choose the root URL which is going to be the first page in that funnel uh, which is also your home page to click that and then the 404 error page can be any of the other pages inside the funnel and then uh, turn that on to on the SSL and create domain all right now go to uh, scroll up and go to browse funnels This will take you to your main dashboard. Go to the uh, funnel or website of choice. There you go. Go to settings inside this uh, funnel. A funnel is another word for website or group of web pages. Here, um, you simply want to do uh, three things. You want to select the domain that you just added. You want to remove the, the pathway, the path delete that and then you want to remove the head tracking code if there is any in there currently and then scroll all the way down and hit save update okay and so now you want to hit publishing on this page or this funnel step hit publishing change the funnel step name this one actually is the home page, so you'd obviously want to name it home. Then select the domain and then change the path to home and update. And you'll notice that the page name changes over in the left hand column. And before you leave this page, uh, scroll down, hit the gear settings button to the right of edit page. Do the exact same naming as you did just now. Select the domain, hit update page, and this is what the user will see in the web browser. Um, okay, so now you're done with that page and you simply need to go, uh, repeat those last two steps for each of these following pages. So click on the second page, hit publishing, you're going to change the name of this page uh, to something more um, 
appropriate, which this is this page ha happens to be the services page. Hit domain services update and then scroll down again to the settings. And you keep going now on the third page, just so we can show you if there's, if you go to publishing and sometimes or usually in the path name, there's, there's a, um, from the, from the original copy, uh, sometimes you'll find that it'll, it'll tell you what the page is, but in this case, it, it has the generic sales page uh, label. So to find out what this page actually is, you simply hit overview, which is two, two tabs over from publishing, and scroll down and hit the preview button next to edit page, or you can see the preview right there. And this is obviously the fleet page for this limo site. So you can go and change the name to fleet. Domain and then fleet. And so once you're done doing, doing that for every page, um, finished setting up a custom domain.